Different Habitat Unit 4.4 Vocabulary Beak The beak is an external anatomical structure found mostly in birds. Gills It is a respiratory organ that many aquatic organisms use to extract dissolved oxygen from water and to excrete carbon dioxide. Strain Sieve A beak can strain small plants and animals from water. Fins Fins can either be paired or unpaired. Animals are suited to their habitat. Animals live in a habitat which suits them. For example, fish have an organ called gills. Fish use gills to breathe underwater. Fish also have fins which help them to swim. Some types of fish live in warm water and other types of fish live in cold water. Sometimes water becomes warmer or colder because the climate changes. Fish manage to survive small changes like this as long as the changes happen slowly. What do fishes use to breathe underwater? Answer gills. Why do fish sometimes have to move very fast? Answer is fish swim very fast in order to escape predators, catch prey and migrate to different areas for survival. Swimming fast allows fish to quickly cover large distances find food and avoid becoming a meal themselves. Which part of their body do they use to move fast? Their streamlined body shape and powerful muscles enable them to propel themselves through the water with speed and agility. Some people keep fish at home in a tank. This is not a normal habitat for fish. Discuss how the fish survive. In an aquarium, fish survive through the delicate balance of natural processes and careful management. Nitrogen cycle. Regular water changes help maintain a healthy nitrogen cycle. Avoid overfeeding. Overfeeding can lead to excess waste and poor water quality. Consistent water parameters. Maintain stable water parameters such as temperature pH and hardness. Sudden fluctuations can stress fish. Use a reliable water testing kit to monitor these levels. Compatible tank mates. Select fish species that get along well. Some fish are territorial or aggressive, while others are peaceful. Research compatibility before adding a new fish. Quarantine new fish. Before introducing a new fish to your main tank, quarantine them separately. This prevents the spread of diseases and parasites. How are birds suited to their habitat? Birds have wings which allow them to fly, but birds are suited to different habitats in other ways. The habitat that birds live affects what the birds eat. Birds which live near sea or river habitat eat fish. Other birds live in a grassland habitat eat seeds or insects. Other birds live in a habitat that has a lot of trees. They eat fruits, seeds and small animals that live in the trees. Birds have different sizes and shapes of beaks. These different beaks allow them to catch and eat different foods. Look at these examples. A pigeon eats mainly seeds. Look at its beak. It's small and pointed. A pigeon can crack open seeds with its beak. Starlings eat insects, worms and berries. A kingfisher has a large beak with a sharp point. This helps them to catch fish in river. 
A flamingo's beak is very different to other birds. Flamingos eat small plants and animals in rivers and dams. A flamingo has a long flat beak that can strain, it's called sieving, these small plants and animals from the water. Plants can survive in places that are not their normal habitat. Some animals that are surviving in places that are not their normal habitat, such as seagulls in a place far from the sea and fish in tanks.